Long-term test review, Subaru Outback. First report, we see if rugged estate deserves to be more than an alternative choice. Verdict. 4 star. At first glance, the Outback appears a little utilitarian alongside more upmarket models such as the Audi A4 Al Road. But spend a little time with it and the car's engineering integrity and quality shine through. Although we've only done a handful of miles, the rugged and capable Subaru is already impressing. It's fair to say that Subaru has slipped off the radar of most UK car buyers. At the end of the last century, the Japanese brand's World Rally Championship exploits with Scottish legend Colin McRae meant it was rarely out of the headlines. Yet since bosses pulled the plug on the rally team in 2008, Subaru's British sales have slumped by nearly three quarters. However, it's clinging on, thanks to a loyal band of fans. And what's more, there's a refreshed lineup in showrooms and a works back squad in the British Touring Car Championship. So are the good times set to roll again? To find out, we've taken delivery of the firm's flagship Outback, which mixes the rugged appeal of an SUV with the space of an estate. We collected our car from Bell and Colville in West Horsley, Surrey. The dealer is more famous for its near 50-year association with Lotus and its recently acquired Morgan franchise, but it has been selling Subaru since 1995. I was greeted at the site by sales director Miguel Andre, who offered us a complimentary coffee before giving us a brief tour of the quirky but well-kept showrooms. You can see everything from a one-off Lotus 311 racer to a humble Impreza hatchback. However, after a quick nose round, it was time to get the keys to our car. Specifying our outback was pretty straightforward, as Miguel pointed out that virtually everything is standard. Looking at the kit list reveals leather trim, heated seats, LED headlamps, keyless entry and climate control, among many other features. In fact, the only extra we added was the restrained dark grey metallic paintwork. One option we'd have liked was the tan leather interior we spotted on a similar outback in the Bell and Colville showroom, although Miguel explained this had been a special order and took six months to arrive. There was an engine choice though, with either a 2.5-liter flat 4 petrol or a similarly laid out 2.0-liter diesel. No other manufacturer in the world offers this type of diesel, so it made sense to see how it stacks up against more conventional rivals. The Boxer is hooked up to a Lineartronic CVT gearbox, and as with all Subarus, power is delivered through the brand's trademark symmetrical four-wheel drive transmission. Other highlights include the EyeSight system, which uses a pair of cameras on either side of the rear view mirror to deliver adaptive cruise control and lane departure warnings. Miguel also ran us through the infotainment system, which is controlled via a 7-inch touch screen and features crisp graphics and a logical layout. SAT NAV and Bluetooth are standard, as is mirror link. While DAB isn't included, Subaru's Starlink setup gives you access to a wide variety of internet radio stations via your smartphone. Elsewhere, the car impresses with its solid build quality, comfortable driving position, strong refinement, and family-friendly practicality, plus its all-wheel drive has proven invaluable in changeable winter weather. It's early days, but the Outback is already showing that Subaru deserves to be taken seriously once again. Key Specs Model, Subaru Outback 2.0 DSE Premium Linear Tronic. On fleet since, January 2017. Price new, £34,680. Engine, 2.0 liter flat 4 turbo diesel. CO2 slash tax, 159G slash KM slash pound 185. Options, metallic paint, £500. Insurance asterisk, group, 19 quote, 425 pounds. Mileage slash MPG, 2,495 slash 40.4 MPG. Any problems, none so far.